Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've got a little hover effect for you today. We've got an image with a title and some text here. When we hover over, it's going to reveal a button. And it doesn't matter where we hover over, it's going to pop that little button up. Really easy to do. We've got to do a little bit of CSS coding for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any code that I write, I'll put down below the video and you're welcome to use it as you wish. So let's get started. I've got the page open over here. And let's add a text editor block over here. I'll just get rid of the navigator. And let's add a heading. Same as any other text block, you can select things, make them headings, paragraphs, underline, bold them, link them if you need to right there. And I'm going to pop that in the middle. And I'll do similar for this. Okay. Well, we've got that working. What I want to do is have an image behind there. And common to most hover effects with image to text, the, the actual image is going to reside in the column itself. So we're in the module, the little blue tab there. I'm going to go into the column now. And we'll add a background image. So I'm going to go to style, background type, little paintbrush there. You can put in a gradient or a slideshow if you want to. I'm just going to add an image. Here's the image. Just hit the little plus icon to choose the image. And it would grab any old picture there. As you can see, it's put that in there. Now, position-wise, I'm going to leave it center-center, I think. So it's in the center of the image there. Don't want it to scroll. I don't want it to be fixed, so I'm going to leave that right. I don't want it to repeat, so I'm going to say no repeat. I do want it to cover the whole of the available area there. Now the reason it's longer than our module is because this module is longer and that's making the column stretch down there. But that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Let's go in here. And I'm just going to change that heading to, so we can see it a bit better. Back into the text module. Little tab there. I'm going to make that typography white. Just so it stands out a bit better. Great. Fantastic. Okay, well let's add a button underneath it there. And here's a button and these are all available in the free version of Elementor and of course it will work equally well with the pro version. Okay there's a little button there, I'll we'll make it a little bit bigger, let's make it medium. I'm going to pop it in the middle. Great. Now if you see the little blue outline, this is the actual area that this button is taking up. To make this hover effect work so that it pops up wherever we put our mouse over it. I've got to give it a, a bunch of padding and then we've got to slide it up so it all covers the whole of the, our little column here. So what we'll go, we'll go do is go to advanced. I'm going to uncheck the chain because I just want to do the top at the moment. So let's give it 400. As you can see that's pushed that way down here. That's more than I need. Let's try 350. That'll work. We should be able to slide that up and cover it. And to slide it up, what we're going to do is give it some negative margin on the top. So again, I'm going to uncheck the chain because I just want to do the top at the moment. So I'll just hit that arrow to get it negative there. There we go. And it's popped back up where we want it. That's OK. So it's got padding on the top, so we know it's covering this area here. And I want to give it a little bit of padding on the bottom as well. So I'm going to give it, say, 50 picks on the bottom. Yeah, that's good enough. OK, now we need to write our CSS to make it actually disappear and just reappear when we want it to appear. And I've not styled this button. I'm using the, the generic colors on it. If you want to style it, just hit the style. You can change the color and everything like that. You can set a hover color for it. Let's set a hover color for it. 
make it red on hover. There we go, that's fine. Now we want to make it disappear and we only want to see it when somebody hovers over this text and image right here. So to do that we've got to write some CSS. Before we can write any CSS we need to give it a CSS class or a name that we can associate it with. So I'm going to say button btn text txt. Name yours what you want. It's got to be unique and it wants to be something that's going to make sense to you. Okay, now we've given it a name, we can actually go down and write some custom CSS. I'm using the pro version of Elementor here, so I can write it in the custom CSS box in the actual module itself. For the free version, you have to do this in the theme customizer. And to get to the theme customizer, if we go over here, I'll go down to the dashboard, go to appearance and then customize. Once you get to the customizer, go down to additional CSS. And this is where you can input your code for the free version. It'll work exactly the same way. Okay, well, let's go back and let's actually write what we need to write here. So it's class name. We gave it the class name of button text. So all class names have to have a dot or a period in front. So I'm going to write dot. Then the class name, btntxt. So we can target it with what we're about to write. I'm going to open and close some curly brackets here and in between the curly brackets we can write our code. Okay, so when we're not hovering over it I don't want to see it at all so I'm going to say opacity or see-throughness that is or transparency colon zero that will make it invisible as you can see it's disappeared or as you can't see it's disappeared. Now I'm going to copy this and we'll set the hover state for when we're hovering over it. Control C to copy, I'm going to drop down a couple, Control V to paste. Right after the last T of BTN TXT, no gap, colon, and then no gap again, the word hover, we can set a hover state. Don't put any gaps between the T and the H there and the colon, it won't work if you put any spaces in there. And I want it to be fully visible. So we make it one. One is fully visible. You can increment 0 0.1, 0 0.2, etc., and have various stages of transparency if you want to, but that's going to work. So let's hover over and it appears. Now it's appearing pretty instantly, which is okay, but I'd like to slow that down a bit, make it a little bit more graceful. To do that in the regular state, we're going to use the transition duration property. So we're going to say transition. And it's prompted us down here. You can just click that if you want to put it in. And let's say 0 0.8 seconds, something like that. 0 0.8 seconds, semicolon. And that'll slow it down. There we go. That's a little bit more graceful. So when you're happy with all your styling and everything there, this should be good to go. So we've got an image, we've got our title, we've got our text. Then when we hover over the image, we're going to see the little button right here. So let's update and preview the changes with the little eyeball icon there. Here we go. And there we have it. There's how to create an image with text to reveal a button on hover. Really easy to do. Like I say, we've had to do a little bit of coding for this today. Don't let that put you off. That code that I wrote, I'll pop down below the video. Help yourself and use it how you will. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.